Goofy Ostrom Master Lee. And Lulu. All right, today we're throwing it way back to the 60s. Although I swear I've heard of this group before in like the 80s or so. I think they've had a really long career mm. over the years. The Moody Blues Man, they're still around today. Like I was looking them up and I said, like, oh my God, they're still performing. They're still... Yeah, like 50 freaking years later. Like this is one of those bands where you're like, Oh my goodness, clearly the sex, drugs, and rock and roll didn't kill you kind of thing. So I wanted to check this one out because I know I've heard of the song before. I don't know where, but I don't know what it's about. And apparently the way they spell it now wasn't the way it was spelled originally and had a different meaning. Mm. It's like today it's spelled knights in white satin with the word K-N, meaning like a knight in shining armor. But no, back then when it originally came out, it was like good night, like knight in shining armor or knight in white satin. It was like something about nightmares. And if you hear the song, you're going to get why. It's a very trippy kind of song. Mm. So I was always curious, like, was our music video ever released about this? And lo and behold, you got to love the internet. Someone had found a performance of them in Paris and they restored the video. So this is probably one of the earliest takes that I've ever seen of these guys. Honestly, I don't even know what they look like today beyond <laughs> that concert that I just saw. So I don't know anything else about them. Mm. I'm trying my best to explain it to you. Their music to me, it felt very popish for what I remember, but it's only like one or two songs. Like the one I remember was a song called uh, In Your Wildest Dreams, which I feel like maybe that was the 80s song. Released it, uh, sure enough, that there was it. it. 1986, that's how I know them. So yeah, this other song from the 60s, which means that they were like 20 years earlier wrote this wow. song. Damn. All right, let's check this out, yo. All right. By the way, if you want to hear some wicked wild stories, you got to check out my channel. And if you want some hotness, check out my fantasy show. It is very dreamy. This feels like a Nights in white satin, live performance. Never reaching the end. Letters I've written. Never meaning to send. With these eyes before Just what the truth is I can't say anymore Cause I love you Try to tell me thoughts they cannot defend. Just what you want to be, you will be in the end. And I love you. I remember pieces of the song before i don't parts of the flute section i remember but when he started breaking out the flute first i'm like what the heck this is so odd and parts of his voice i even remember but it's almost like you know like when you are like have a fever you're having a dream it's like pieces of memories kind of fill in and it's very vivid very intense but you can't quite form a whole picture this whole song feels like that to me
Was trippy. <laughs> I described it before as trippy, but now I'm doubly down on that description. And, trippy. and dreamy though. Trippy, trippy, dreamy. trippy kind of means dreamy. Uh. It's like you're having a drug trip. What? Like it's like that kind of trip. For me, I'm thinking about like afternoon break. Siesta. Oh, like a siesta dream? I'm thinking more like a fever dream. It's weird because it's like it literally evokes that feeling in me of... Me is like in my living room back when in the Philippines and getting ready for a nap in the afternoon. Oh, so it's a nap song. So you play this for kids in a kindergarten. Hey, kids, nap no. time. <laughs> Nights and wise. No, because it's like that's what my dad would play, you know, on his... My dad will put a record in the afternoon and then we'll take a nap and then we wake up and have some Coca-Cola as our snack and a barbecue, banana barbecue, grilled. Boy, life is so different in the Philippines. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I can say. It's that simple. <laughs> oh my goodness! Wow, that's what reminds me of. I was uh, I was listening to the song. That's what I was like picturing. I wonder what this whole thing is about. That because it doesn't feel like the studio recorded version. It does feel like a live version of them singing it, and then they made him video specifically for this. So maybe I don't. They were touring there in Paris or something like that. Mm -hmm. Do they have a bad member who's literally his only purpose is to play the flute? Maybe. Because he didn't do anything else in that video. He just sat there with the flute and held I the know, whole line. He looks like a frame. <laughs> the whole thing looks like a, yeah, you know what it looks like, you know, in Harry Potter, right? Where you have the still images, move. but they move just and a little. Move. Yeah. That, that's why it was so eerie, too. It felt like a fever dream. We were like, it's so weird, haunting in many ways. So we just stand there, and they would just sometimes see, and they move a little bit, and... Yeah. No, it's just probably back then. This song was tripping. This video was tripping. They're still learning how to do the videography, baby. No, baby. This is artistic <laughs> choice. This is not them. What do we do? Move your head down. Okay. <laughs> well, Fluke guy, your turn. No, no. This was deliberate. No. This was somebody thinking of an idea to, 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 and thought it was a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see this on their website, so maybe that's one reason why they thought, hey, you know, I, we'll just... Not one really of our nice, most interesting ideas. <laughs> Great song, though. We should listen to it again with the updated version because I feel oh. like the one that I saw them in recently was uh, uh, them a lot older, maybe 10 years ago or something. It, it sounded really different. Much more Top modern. Beat? No, it's still this really slow, slow yeah, wavy kind of song. <laughs> this is not a song that you play like if you are trying to stay awake for studying kind of thing. I feel no, like it because it's going to make you fall asleep. There you go. It, like I Wake said, up it's with a Coca -Cola. nap time. 